So, welcome back. So we can see how we can take the remote of any Mac system on Windows. Now let's start this video. Um, open Google Chrome and search a real VNC viewer. Open this website. So website name is https colon double slash www.realvnc.com and please don't click on any other URL that will be malicious or uh, not the genuine website right so click on this one and you can go ahead and install it on Windows because your this system is Windows operating system so you can go ahead and download VNC viewer so it will be 86 and 64 bit Right, the setup file is only 11.3 MB, which is completed. I'm trying to open this now and going to install it. The installation process is very simple. Click next. And if you want to add the shortcut, I mean, if you want to add desktop shortcut, you can select it next and install. Okay, so I have pop up for yes and no. Click on yes and finish. The setup has been completed, right? Um, the next step would be let's open this um, software now. So you can see that uh, VNC viewer is added in the list. Open it. If you want to send the anonymous users data to improve. Uh, you can select otherwise and check it and got it so your VNC viewer setup is ready this tool will be used to take the remote okay so I am on my Mac machine um, so you can see the steps which you can follow and enable the remote options go to the settings the system preferences here you can see the option sharing under the sharing option, you have to enable screen, file sharing, media sharing, and remote login. So these options should be enabled. You can define the user which you want to allow in this machine. Once these options will be enabled, you go ahead, uh, follow the next step on the Windows machine. So next step, when your MacBook will be ready with the security options, you can uh, check the IP and uh, put the IP address in this window. So my IP is 192.168.0.104. Once you type that, just click on enter. Yes. So you can see the, the insecure connection warning. So that is, you can ignore this warning now. Continue. And you should have the password, the admin password of that machine. So I'm putting the admin password here. All right, the connection is successful. I can access the machine. You can see the machine IP address here 192.168.0.104. So this is the entire process to take a remote of any MacBook machine or Mac operating system from a Windows machine. If you like this video, please subscribe the channel.